My main goal for this trip out to the apiary is to get these towels in place to help control the small hive beetles. You may be familiar with this technique, especially if you watch Jared from j, j Acres. He did this, and he sent me these towels, and because I have a small hive beetle problem, and I thought it would be fun to see if his technique that's working well for him would also work here in Texas. I think I said downy, but it's really brawny. I had a hole in my glove, so I had to tape it up. The small hive beetles have been a serious problem. Uh, I've had several hives over the last couple seasons that have become weak, and the small hive beetles get in there and they take over and they make a slimy mess. So we're going to see if this towel trick is going to do the trick. I do encourage you to go watch Jared's video over at J&J &J Acres. I'll have his video in the description below. He can show you exactly how he's using these towels. I'll show you today, but I probably won't do as well a job as Jared did at describing the process and the purpose. When I pop this lid, you can usually see a few beetles like this one running, and I try to squash them, but that's just one of many. There's a lot of them that end up in the hive and they, they want to get into the, that cell structure and start laying eggs. In Jared's video, he puts these towel strips down at the base and on top. So we're going to see if we can crack this off of the baseboard and put a few of them down there. Okay, we have the hive moved, so we're going to put, you can see some of the beetles down here. We're going to put this strip on each corner. if I can do it without the wind blowing them away. So up here at the top as well, before we put the inner cover back on, we're going to lay them in these corners. The whole point of these towels is that they get roughed up by the bees and then it becomes like a sticky trap for the sharp legs of the hive beetles. They act almost like a Velcro. The beetles are the hooks and the towels are the loop. This is my aggressive hive and today you wouldn't know it. We're just going to put this inner cover back down here gently and slowly trying to reduce the number of bees that we squish. Now I guess with this technique, you have to come out once a week or so to remove those, those towels because they get pretty messed up. And uh, from what I was reading in some of the comments on Jared's video, I think it was Jared's video, anyway, somewhere, somebody mentioned that the, um, some of the other pests might actually be attracted to that. So we need to make sure that we get those removed in plenty of time that we're not actually increasing the problems. Okay, we're going to attempt to get in here on this one too. Lots of beetles in this one. Let me squish a few of them. I'm usually squashing, you know, a small handful of beetles every time I come out here. Some of these frames are the shallow, or uh, not shallow, but medium frames. I brought a few deeps out to see if I could switch some of them. 
I forgot to do it in that first hive. Let me see if this first frame here is a deep or a medium. This one's a deep. Yeah, I can see lots of beetles down in this one. All right, I think I'll switch the frames out later. Keep them a little less riled up. That's a pretty serious high beetle problem there. seem to get four of them lined up on the bottom because of the breeze so we'll see if we can get four on top okay, I got three let me see if I can slide one more in here smoke to get them off the edges so I can put this cover back on well there we go we got two hives now with the the hive traps the paper towel I'm sorry girl stung me on my glove two hives with the the high the paper towel hive beetle trick the the trap trick trick trap that hopefully we can get some of these beetles under control and give these bees a better chance. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the hives turned around too. They were facing each other for the split, but I think I'm gonna get them facing the front like the other hives. this grass growing up in front of the hive since I just turned them I don't know if I should take the grass out or leave it I do see a hive beetle up here on the grass I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it out I sure hope that works. It would be nice to know that I gave these bees a better shot, that the beetles can't grab hold as well because their numbers, the beetles are actually gonna get stuck in that towel and not be able to in, infest the hive and lay eggs and all that. These plastic traps, they do a moderately decent job, but I always feel like they're not doing as well as they should be doing. Well, if that doesn't work, I guess I can always just blame Jared, right? Jared, thank you so much for the towels and for the idea and for the support. I hope so much that this experiment works well for me to get these hive beetles under control. I'm pleased to hear that it's working in your apiary and your beehives, and I sure hope that it works the same in Texas. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for spending this time with me. I do encourage that you go over to Jared's channel and thank him uh, for my towels as well. In fact, if you just go on to random videos and tell Jared thanks for Daddy Curb's towels, I think that would be kind of fun. It is a true pleasure using this journey to educate, entertain, and encourage others. Thank you for being a part of this journey. I'll talk to you soon.
Hey, thanks for joining me on this beekeeping episode on the dirt, dirty, dirty tabs. Hey, thanks for joining me on the, uh... Oh, and by the way, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can go ahead and do that too.